Hello, all my beautiful Aquarius friends. Welcome to your January 16th through 31st, 2021 reading. This is a collective reading for all Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising. That means if you'd like a private reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. With that being said, let's get into the reading. We have our beautiful Wheel of Fortune as the underlier and the Hierophant coming in as the cut card addition to this. So this is limitations being broken th broken free from, letting yourself uh, moving, moving all blocks, letting all red lights turn green, removing all anxiety and fear. It is a victory and possibilities are appearing even the ones you're not aware of being there. The Hierophant is the energy of being told yes, being accepted, also being granted entrance or granted permission to be part of a large group. This usually means a large organization. So with that little nice cut, we'll go into the energy. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses thank you so much for being present here to allow all aquarius sun moon and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path we thank you so much divine for these blessings and beautiful messages and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended we thank you for this divine guidance as always And we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you for your presence. Just a quick aside. Don't forget to hit your little bell if you want to be part of the live readings. Or if you're missing any of my notifications. Um, the bell will help you to be notified. If you click subscribe... Um, they use an algorithm to remind you of who, you know, you've got a bunch of people you're subscribed to. Um, it rotates who you actually get the notice from. So if you're wondering why you're not getting notifications when I'm posting, it's because you don't have the actual active subscribe bell notification on. The notification is the part that gets you to the, the, the very second that I post something, you'll be notified. And we have all of our beautiful energy, six of cups, five of rods, two of cups, four of rods, king of pentacles, and the fool. Nine of rods, sorry, ten of rods. Don't know where that came from. Ten of rods, that's the end of the burden, the struggle being lifted. We love that energy. There's your Aquarius Major Arcana with the hanged man energy. And the Leo strength card here. So this looks very, very energetically fabulous here. So when we were doing the cut cards, the last cut gave the Ace of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune. So that means very fast because the Wheel of Fortune is already fast. If you add that, that uh, not the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Swords. The, oh, let me ring a bell for myself. <laughs> Get a notification for my own self here. <laughs> so having that energy with that Wheel of Fortune is extremely fast. It's almost a race car fast. So Page of Swords. This is the informer. He's coming to give you a notification or information that you need. So whatever information you're looking for will be provided. And we have... The Six of Cups, which is soul family energy. This is being surrounded by people who support you and support what you're trying to do in this lifetime, as well as you supporting them in their uh, life path things. And it just means you're in the place where the people who resonate with your soul that you have made an agreement with on the other side to come through many lifetimes, you're, you, they're actually present here. And some of them are fur, fur babies can be part of the soul family too, so... We have, and they do give us a tremendous amount of support. Jack and uh, Zeus have, have really helped me through my moments. We have the Five of Wands, which is the energy of being in 
some kind of conflict. It's not a big one, and you're not alone. Uh, there may be a little bit of kerfuffle going on, but it's not something that's going to last. And then we have the Two of Cups, which is a very in-tune, solid energy. You may have a spiritual awakening coming in, or you may be having a divine soul connection with another person. This can also mean a partnership. If you're in business with someone else, that you're in a place where you're both uh, very uh, conducive to success because you're seeing eye to eye. You're on a good vibrational level and everything will work in a symbiotic re relationship in a symbiotic way, which means benefits for all. We have the, f I was said, I said it wrong in a reading past, so there's no N in symbiotic. <laughs> I was saying symbionic. <laughs> so the four of wands is the energy of very grounded, stable, solid energy, which means good communication and solid um, stability as far as work and or family relationships. That's very strong energy. So it's people that you can count on that, that appreciate you and you appreciate them. Good complimentary energy. We have the King of Pentacles here, which is making a commitment or a commitment being made for you. This is financial commitment and or a commitment to do something. This is can be your commitment that you're making to do something and, and you have a goal that you've set out. It is the energy of King Midas. Now, this King of Pentacles is an earth energy. Uh, it doesn't mean that you're not embodying it. So that's why I say it, it's also relevant for that. This kind of commitment is where it's a very strong benefit to you to make this commitment because this is that that kind of energy that it pays off well. Uh, we have the fool, which is the new beginning, an ending and a new beginning simultaneously. This is the story of tarot starts and ends with the fool um, in the major arcana. So this is the unbroken circle of life and starting a new cycle without any extra baggage and being able to move smoothly into that new energy and the ten of wands which means the struggle is over the burden is lifted and you're able to lay down this heaviness and move forward so the drudgery and the difficulties are lifted now we have the hanged man and the hanged man is referring to your seventh chakra your crown chakra being in your spiritual connected source energy when you get into that crown chakra through your meditation uh, you can literally connect to the multiverse this is where you can see all things you can get into that light source energy and really connect to your higher self and boy, is it ever a connection to your higher self because this is your Aquarius Major Arcana card. And this means your soul's purpose is being told yes by the universe. It is an awakening. It is a soul energy activation. And it can mean ascension. Sorry, I got a big hiccup on that when I said ascension. So there's the third eye activating and that is like a one of those old wedding clocks. It's like an anniversary clock. And so it's divine timing and we are in the age of Aquarius. So this this is the time where a whole bunch of people begin to awaken especially your energy because you're the you're the center of that that um, astrological lineup. We have the Strength card, which is the Leo Major Arcana, and the Archangel Ariel. Ariel is the Lion of God. This is a beautiful energy of loyalty and devotion and being in a place where there's a common goal. And so this Two of Cups here can be very much symbolizing the partnership that you have in this work area. This, this is someone who's not going to waver. They've got your back and you've got their back and there's no... No wavering. We've got the seven of rods telling you, hang in there. It's not time to, to settle. It's not time to back down. You've got to stand your ground. And you don't have to do anything crazy. Just don't back down. Don't give up. Don't walk away. Don't quit five minutes before your miracle. I beat that horse enough for you. <laughs> I was just beating that drum. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. 
divine spirit, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always. Mm-hmm. And we welcome this blessed information. Thank you for your presence. So we have the two of cups, bottom and top here. That six of cups, it's under there. The four of, <laughs> it's over here. So, so far, all three of these cards are under here. This, they're this, I'll show you. And the queen of cups is taking the place of that five of rods. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, so this is like the core of the reading. So that's really cool that those same cards came out again. Eight of, eight of pentacles, the apprentice card. There's the strength card. Second time, Leo Major Arcana. The high priestess, being in a place of following your instincts and going with the flow. Wheel of Fortune, which was in your cut. We like that. Beautiful Ace of Rods. And the Queen of Rods. We have the King of Swords, which is the Aquarius King. or yeah, All air signs uh, resonate with this King. This is the Archangel Michael. So this is a beautiful energy of protection and guidance and your resonance of this beautiful king is that you are ready for battle and uh, Aquarius, you guys are the champions of the air sign. You are always um, sticking up for the underdog and making sure that everything's fair. You cannot tolerate a situation where one group is allowed to do one thing one way and another group or another person is allowed to do it a different way. For you, that is an imbalance of, of power and you will stand against it every time it happens. <laughs> this is, you want everybody to have the same rules and everybody to follow those rules. So um, Aquarius is the, is the warrior of the air sign. The Libra wants everybody to get along and is trying to balance and compensate. They will battle if they have to, but they don't like conflict. They will avoid it at almost all costs. And the Gemini is got their own twin energy, so they're busy working their own, you know, twins. They kind of stay to their self. So that is your energy. I just had to say that. Don't know why. <laughs> so here is the Six of Cups, which is soul family energy. The Two of Cups staying focused and beautiful eye-to-eye -eye energy. So being in a place of good, good synchronicity with the people that's a, that are around you. You have support uh, from them. You have the five of rods here, which is a minor kerfuffle, but there they are to come help support you through that. And there's that two of cups again. You've got the six of cups here and here, the two of cups here and here. The four of rods. Solid foundation, being in a place where the doorway to the future is wide open, you're being invited in, very solid uh, energy in relationships and work relationships. So it's funny because they're all angled. Do you see that? <laughs> and this Queen of Cups, which is looking back with a little bit of, you know, nostalgia, some things are changing. Uh, life is a little different than it was, and this can be looking back at the way things were or wishing someone, uh, you know, you might be thinking about someone from the past, uh, someone who's already crossed over, just having a little bit of nostalgia, and it, it gives you a little bit of the little blues, so don't stick in that energy too long. The King of Pentacles is very strong commitment energy and all about the money. So this is where you're making a commitment to learn something new that actually makes you more valuable to master it to where you actually get something valuable from it and you can 
continue to uh, make money by doing it. We have the fool, which is that new cycle change, moving into um, the new transition of energy, the new world as it is. Everything's a little different. The way everything works is different. And there's that strength card again, loyalty and perseverance, being in a place of allowing yourself to stay focused on the goal and you're not in it by yourself. So you've got the... Ten of Wands, which is releasing you from the burden. The heavy lifting is over. The struggle is over. And uh, we love that energy. So this is the true promise of that uh, ending and new beginning. So there's the ending. And that's the new beginning. So it's telling you, stay in your higher energy. Allow yourself to connect to Source. Allow yourself to feel the divine guidance that you get from the universe. And whether you know it or not, Aquarius, you are highly tuned in you're an air sign so you will get psychic energy and psychic information uh divine guidance is just right there and so you may be ignoring it but it's there here is the wheel of fortune which is very much looking like that wheel there so get into the energy of this beautiful wheel of fortune when it shows up because this is opening all doors and doors that you didn't even know were available to you show up. Then you also have the release of karmic debt. All red lights turn green and all obstacles dissolve right before you. Now, understand that this is a, an elemental push. This vortex was created for you by the universe. So this is a big deal and very fast moving. It is a victory. And so is the star card. So when that starts moving, it looks like there's nothing stopping you. This is a big surge forward with the star card. Soul's desire being granted or your soul's wish being granted. The ace of rods means whatever it is you're doing, uh, working with, suddenly it, it kind of takes root and flourishes right before your very eyes and starts to really show you some results here. Then we have the strength in the partnership or the strength in the job that you're focused and you're staying focused on the goal and the universe is assisting you with that. And you've got this queen of rods here, which I call the boss lady energy. And uh, she's also exhibiting her kitty cat, which is her lion. And that could be a Leo queen or someone who is an independent employer, somebody who owns their own business. It could be a female or feminine energy. It just means very much uh, on task and, and continuing to make those, those decisions wisely. So many blessings to you all, my Aquarius friends. Love, light, and abundance, and beautiful, beautiful blessings to you. I'll talk to you again in February. Namaste, my friends.